hey, what I'm to this? So, Calibrio S, right? It's that really small and really lightweight operating system that can even fit on a floppy disk. Well, it's been years since I've last used it, so today I thought I'd download it, burn it onto one of my spare DVD RWs, I don't have anything else, so this is the best we're gonna get, and just try and run it on the computer. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so we're on the desktop of my modern computer, actually. And that's because I have two computers hooked up to this one display. I have Calibri OS on a DVD. And the computer is just down here, so I'm going to turn it on and spam that F12 key. I think that's enough. So we're going to put the disc in. And swap the inputs. Alright, let's see. Did I do it? Yes, I did it. So we're going to boot off the DVD drive, and yep, that looks all good, so, oh, didn't even give me enough time. Oh, this is it, we're in. We are in Calibrio S, this is, this looks kind of different from when I last used it, which was years ago. You're now connected to the net, does networking even work? Web view. WebView is a text-based browser. Alright, can we just connect to one of my... Can I just connect to my server? Oh, I can! I can! Can I go to, um, Google? Oh my gosh! I never got this to work before in my testing. Because I just did do a little bit of testing. Excuse me, what? Okay, okay, okay. Let me try on my modern computer. Yeah, see, look at my modern computer. It works. But not on this, apparently. Um, I don't know where it's pulling my technical. I think it's trying to go slash file. Not Found. Alright, yeah, NetSurf doesn't want to work, so, but we can confirm networking does. We can go into network, client, uh, we can, yeah, the text-based browser is just FTP server. Yeah, see? This works. Go to Arch. Releases. I'm currently just connected to the Calibrio S um, FTP server. So yeah, networking works, which I am really not. Alright, well, let's just start, because I've already clicked on 2D demos. Let's look through the 2D demos. Fractal. Call it RGB. RGB. Zoom in and out. move oh yeah I can move there we go yeah that looks kind of cool eyes oh it's literally just X eyes can I move oh, I, I quit it let's keep X eyes open at the top because why not a tube now that's cool what else do we have? We have plasma. Whoa. We have spiral. Oh gosh, it's a full screen one. Pretty neat. Move back. It's not based on the mouse, it's just a visualizer. A uh, train, tra oh my gosh. Web. Now that's cool, but it's really lagging. We have firework. Fireworks, underwater. Now that looks cool. And we have whatever this thing is. Oh no, I think it's on. Oh no, I think it's frozen. Alt F four. Get out of it. Oh my gosh! Look at X eyes. Oh my gosh! Look at X eyes. Oh no, I zoomed out. Oh, it quit. 
just as I'm trying to get the camera back into focus. All right, now we're back into focus. So I think that's all the 2D visualizers. Let's try the 3D visualizers. You cannot see that. All right, yeah, there we go. That is the um, screensaver. Get, let me out of it. Labyrinth. Fish eye ray casting engine. Oh, I think it's, is it using? Is he using the graphics card for this? Oh, wait, wait a minute, you can use the mouse. I have no idea how you control this, it does it just move on its, it moves on its own, okay. Yeah, well that's kind of cool. Cube. It's a cube. Retro. Gosh, this is going to be, it's going to take forever. And it is taking forever. I don't think this computer can really ray trace. Get out of it. Get out of it. Uh, view 3, yes. Oh. You can change the, um, change the shaders. You can change the speed. Anyway, I'm not going to spend too much time on these gears. GL gears? Or is X gears or GL gears? I don't know what it's... Ooh! Pretty cool, pretty cool. We have graphics, we have the Calibri, we have an image. Oh, this is basically just MS Paint. So we can go with a brush. And we can draw. This is... Yeah, this is an image. I think we can just... Oh my... Oh, this is zoom. This is how you change your brush size. Oh, yeah. Oh, and we can change colours as well. Can we just set it to a nice red? There we go. I'll get out of that now. Oh, we have graphics. We have Calibri Image Viewer, which I don't know if there are any images on this computer. I think I might need to make one. I made an image. Let's try and view it. I think I saved it in Sys. Oh yeah, there's some images. Oh yeah, you can view your images in this. Hello. What else do we have? Icon Edit. Oh, it's a pixel art. Oh, it's a pixel art editor. Kind of cool, kind of cool. Oh, it saved it. It saved it. You can't see it, but it saved it. Uh, image filtering. Open. My no name. I'm going to filter it with noise. And we can reflect. Oh, gosh. Uh, edge detect. Oh, gosh. Invert. Oh, gosh. Okay, I'll, I'll save it. Save that, I guess. Save that as no bitmap. Graphics. We have a colour picker. Oh! Wait, no, this is not a colour picker. This is a background colour changer. Oh, that's cool. Noisy. Gradient. Gonna pick that one. Yeah, we're gonna leave on that brown. Because why not? Um, let's see what else. We have Pippet, which is a, a piper, or however it is. Pippet. It's a, it's a colour picker. Alright, we're done with graphics, multimedia, pixie audio. I don't have any um, audio files on here, but I can get some. Okay, I have one audio file on this USB stick. Plug her in. Is there any sound? I don't think there's sound. Oh, that, that sucks. That really sucks. Oh no, I changed it. What is this? Is this sound? That's all I need to know. Multimedia. Toy piano. Like fine, uh, C. Wait, it's actually working! Well, I think it's um because it's using the PC speaker because this computer has a built-in PC speaker. <laughs> so 
the toy piano. Um. Yep, works. Uh, we can go on to mid amp. I think it wants to load a MIDI file. I don't have any MIDI files, so we can't test that. Um, F play video. I don't think this is gonna work. Oh, look at that, I have my ED25519 on this USB. Might as well just take it out. I I have no idea. I don't have any videos on here, so we can't test this. I only just put the one song file on there. Alright, that's multimedia. Flat assembler example.asm. Well, not that I can read this or anything. Uh, we have KPAC archiver, diff tool, shared resources, base converter, base converter, uh, number 101. Enter. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's a base converter. Let's see. What do we? What else do we have? I'm not really gonna look at anything in development because I don't have any use for it. Um, file managers. We have oh gosh, we have a few file managers. We have classic KFM. K5. This looks like Midnight Commander or something or whatever it's called. I think it's Midnight Commander. The history. Oh, K Fetch. Oh yeah, look at that. We have. K batch. Oh, we need to clear K batch. Would you look at that? I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep this open, but it's, I'm gonna keep it off screen. Oh, oh you can kind of see it. Here, I'll drop it down here. There we go. Uh, we can uh, terminal, save RAM disk, shell, virtual disk, data processing over calculator. Uh, one plus two equals three. Brilliant. We can. I think my computer is really messing with this brightness thing. The brightness of the thing. Monitor. Tiny pad. We have tiny pad, um, which is a text editor. I text edit. Good enough. Get out of that. No trying to save it as assembly, but it's not assembly. Code edit. Oh, it's C edit. Oh, it's, um, it's, it's the name of the program. Notepad++. Plus plus. It's like Notepad++. Plus plus. Hex editor. Oh, nice, has a built-in hex editor. That's kind of cool. Um, unarchive. I don't have anything to unarchive. Network, we've already been here. Our clients, we have all this stuff, servers, we have an FTP server on here. Hold on, dot zero dot one six six. Oh, two two zero, welcome to Calibri OS FTP Gaming. Um, I'm just going to come out. Uh, login incorrect, FTP login failed. Two two one goodbye. Okay, I'm going to get out of that. Oh, and I hit the taskbar. Let's so we don't really have anything else in here. We have um, oh, we have emulators. Seriously, DOSBox. We have DOSBox. Oh yeah. Uh, intro. Yeah, we got that. We get this. Uh, Twenty forty-eight. I think you just used arrows. This is definitely twenty forty-eight. Oh yeah, we can definitely run Pong. Oh! Wait, oh, this is two player Pong! I was worried, I was confused, like, why wasn't it moving? But then I remembered it's two player Pong. We need to actually get a second person in here. Oh no! We have good old fashioned snake. Wait, what? Oh, oh the head moves! That, that can be kind of useful um, in the late game. Oh, I've already gone through a lot. Let's just end it with Floppy I just saw Floppy Bird and I want to see Floppy Bird.
Okay, it's just Flappy Bird. We also have Minesweeper. Oh, come on!